Hi Aries. This is your weekly <coughs> day by day tarot cards reading by M for the week starting <coughs> 8th of June 2020. It's going to be seven cards for you. And we're gonna start from Monday, 8th June, Aries. And you have Ace of Pentacles, Monday. Tuesday, there is Eight of Cups. Wednesday, Queen of Coins. The High Priestess, Thursday. <coughs> Pardon my voice. And then Friday, we have Two of Pentacles. Right. Um, Saturday, Three of Cups. And Sunday, there's Four of Coins. Page of Roads. Your influencing energy here. It's very youthful energy, like whatever is there, whatever idea that you have with this one, it was something new. But the things is, um, that you are very excited about it, whatever was on your mind with this page of uh, rods, you were very excited about. Now Monday, your ace of coins, beautiful ace of coins, with three of wands. A lovely combination on Monday. Uh, career business. Very nice. Anyway, anyway, we're talking Tuesday now. Eight of cups. With the devil. Now, queen of coins. Wednesday, we are pairing with five of cups. The High Priestess pairing with Queen of Cups. Two of Coins paired with the Chariot and Three of Cups Saturday paired with Nine of Swords. The Four of Coins is paired here with Page of Wands. Now we have double energy of this page. Ace of Swords, your influencing energy, uh, being ready, being um, willing to talk about this idea, about this person that you're very excited about, and you've got lots of certainty, lots of clarity about it. That's how you're coming into this week. And as I said, we've got this lovely Monday with the Three of Wands telling you new career, new job, new endeavor. Now we're talking confidence, bravery, not afraid to go forward. And there is Ace of Pentacles, your environment. You really expect good results. That is solid opportunity, solid potential for you to earn money there with this, what you are doing right now. And you're doing it. Three of Wands says, yes, you've done already something, you're expecting results. You are brave to start something maybe new, maybe you haven't done it before, maybe it's related to foreign country or it's completely foreign to you. In, in a sense, you never done it before. You're moving, you're expecting results and results that will be tangible. Perhaps money you're expecting from there. The devil, the devil with eight of cups. Look, the devil is everything <clears throat> not nice. <laughs> it is not nice in whatever aspect of our life, particularly emotional, material, whatever comes to an excess. If you, you know, working hard to get some money, that what is on Monday, you know, and you, uh, um, you've got complexity always with whatever intention is. If intention turns into being obsessed with money, not caring about anything else, 
then it's the devil energy. If that obsession, that being dependent on these ideas, being, being then addicted to something. But I think in here, you're turning back to it. You know, you are kind of turning back, maybe turning back to something that is your dependency. Maybe you were dependent uh, on, on somebody. By all means, whatever dependency, you can maybe be dependent on your, on, uh, your parents or your spouse, and you want to be financially independent because I think this pentacle day with the three of wands strongly features in that environment or um, aspect of your life, career, money, uh, that sort of dependency. Perhaps that is for some of you. For some of you that is dependent on alcohol, drugs, work, sex, something that we call then addiction. It is dependency or addiction, call it whatever you like. But every time you go into excess of something, there is uh, this energy of devil. And somehow you decide that you know, these excessive things uh, being dependent on someone or doing something in an excessive way, it comes strongly to your realization. It's not that you didn't uh, benefit somehow personally on it. There is kind of benefit here with the Devil card. We, we gain. Devil card bring us, can bring a lot of money, possessions, can bring a lot, but somehow it doesn't fulfill you. It doesn't, it cannot fulfill everything that you need. It kind of always leaves this empty space in between. You either alienate you from the people around you, uh, or you pick up lots of enemies, or you just stay all by yourself, um, excommunicated, or you're just not happy. And I think it's just that would happen to you on Tuesday. You were just not happy with your choices here. I think it seems you went a bit too much, too sort of extreme or dependency or that sort of things, but you're going away from there. Now, Queen of Coins with Five of Cups. Five of Cups after the Devil, you're turning back um, into something that was really sad. Um, it's either sad or you felt yourself as a failure like early on and you're turning back looking into that situation when you kind of fell. I think you're turning back, you're looking exactly to this um, sort of situation, something in your past where you saw yourself in a very negative way. You're looking at yourself into something that you were done, you felt you being there and it is in, in a very negative, could be sad, could be hurtful, you hurt another, somebody else hurts you, something like that. But now Queen of Coins is very much a business mind. Perhaps you have somebody who's going to be on your side because this is your environment. This one is caring. This one cares about you. If this one comes and gives you advice or uh, uh, tells you what to do, it's it, this is the, this caring energy. It has it does have your best interest um, in the mind, Queen. Doesn't matter. Could be could be male, could be male or female, but that is this feminine energy of caring. This one cares about you. Could look very business oriented. It could look maybe uh, distant and cold, but that one is cares about you. That one cares about you, no doubt at all. Could be that somebody comes with a business offer job offer, ideas about, you know, when somebody comes and tells you, look, there is opening down there, I heard that it is for that position, uh, you can apply if you like, that sort of suggestion. You can also adopt this energy on Wednesday for yourself and just after this all unpleasant seeing yourself, what you, what where were you mistaken? What was wrong in your past? You are now seeing your future, your present and your future in a completely different way, more stable, by far more stable this time with Queen of Pentacles. Then looking back in your past, perhaps you saw your mistakes that you made in that regard. Not being um, persistent enough um, that you now become a bit more business-orientated, much more business-mind. 
much clearer in that regard. And it comes from this, uh, from looking back and uh, seeing where were you mistaken like early on. Thursday. The High Priestess and Queen of Cups. Very passive energies. You either expecting somebody to tell you, to give you advice and to tell you how to proceed and what to do. But everything takes time in here. With the Queen of Cups, I think it is passivity. I will know with time. But you're giving yourself a lot of time in here. There is no movement there. You just kind of wait and see how I'm going to feel. I'm going to just wait and see how I'm going to feel further with it. You are waiting and to see um, and to know. and But nothing is concrete. There is not, I'm going to learn from the book. I'm going to speak to these people. You just, you, you are just... Uh, um, Staying in the same one position, time is very relevant in here. With time, you certainly you will know. But at this point, you're not rushing. You're kind of stagnant in this position. It's not a limbo like a hangman, you know, but very similar to these two. A bit more emotional, this side. Hangman will wait a lot, you know, with his mind. But these two will uh, actually wait to see how it feels like, what it feels like right now, what they feel about. You know, you will rely on your feelings at this point until everything is known. You're expecting that it will, it will come from within, that you just one day you will know. But not on this day. On this day, that, that's your realization that you will need time and you just, just, you just need some time. Time will tell. This is like, time will tell me. The chariot with two of pentacles. Um, chariot is a lovely energy to have clear goals, uh, understanding what you want, not even having any obstacles, not even, not even in your mind. Nothing could trouble you here. But then there is no movement because it, your environment does have these two of pentacles. It's, it's something that's not going to last for long. I mean, it, you have to still make sort of decision and I, I, I still see it in here. Yes, everything is clear in your mind. Maybe you know exactly what would you like. What would you like to do? And you don't see obstacles there, okay? Um, this is kind of ultimate win accord. You can get there, you can do that. Perhaps time factor again, decision to make, two of pentacles. But this is two situations going together, same time. They not include each other, they cannot go parallel, not for too long. This is like you living two, two lives same time, two people, two jobs, two situations, and you're trying to hold on to both of this, to keep it alive, but it's not going to be. You're not going to manage it. You know, one of these have to actually fall in order for you to move forward with this chariot. That's what you feel within yourself. That's what would you like. But Two of Pentacles is your reality. At this point, you are doing, I don't know, two different things that they have to separate. One has to go away. You have to stick with one thing and concentrate on it. You are not making decisions today and tomorrow, not this week. Like with time, I still need some more time to see exactly. There is um, a lot, lot uh, of uh, uncertainty and more on emotional level. It's not that you are uncertain with that what you're doing. You know exactly um, related to your project, possible project or situation, concrete situation on the ground, ideas that you have of, on, about yourself, how to move forward, what, how to make money, something emotionally here, um, maybe something that is still driven from your past, that is still ongoing and it's still within you, kind of something that is within you, that, uh, that you kind of purging and it's ongoing, ongoing, on Friday still. It seems to me the whole week like that. Now we have three of cups. Nice energy get together with, with people. Knight of nine of swords. You've got this, it's fear. You've got this fear. And my impression is that you have fear of of people. You know, you're kind of fearing being around people, even if it's happy event. It seems to me because it is Saturday, eh? People are getting together. 
could be that you maybe have to go and visit. It is event where everybody is supposed to show his um, a jolly uh, a face and uh, have a, a smile and have a, have a good time. But you, for some reason, you're fearing this. Lots of people coming together, they drink, they talk, and often, often, they very prickly, you know. Um, behind this happy moment, people can be nasty, and that, I think, is your fear. Remarks or all stuff that will be very unpleasant. You fear that sort of things. That's your nightmare on a Saturday. Four of Coins Sunday with Page of Wands again. Page of Wands, as I said to you, lovely energy for your new ideas. You are ready, obviously ready to go forward with something. You know, feeling uh, impatient, like, like so enthusiastic, that kind of energy, youthful energy, ready to move forward. It's all within you. It's all about that. Four of Coins, perhaps, Perhaps you have to stabilize yourself. It's something about money with four of coins. Always we talk about it. Is it not enough money? Is it not enough that you earn so far? Because as this, as, uh, if this is youthful energy. Perhaps you have just started something. At this point, its earning is just basic. Maybe you're starting something on your own. That kind of comes forward a bit more than anything else. Like you're starting something that is your related to your career. Something sort of business where you're going to be on your own. And it is at the beginning stage. But it is very clear that it will be prosperous. V very clear. Okay, I've got it here. Somehow time factor very much involved. Um, somehow you're dealing same time with another thing, something from your past. You've been doing something until now. Maybe you are employed or you're doing something else um, same time that also brings some sort of money. Maybe you have to juggle two different things at this point because Sunday tells me this is money factor here that you have to collect to get by. It's good. I mean, four pentacles, it's good. You've got enough. This is, they said, that is enough. But just enough to pay the bills you know nothing else there is nothing much left but it can take you forward it's a stable four of pentacles anyway Aries I hope that you're gonna enjoy your week